Here we go, man. Okay. Well, this is a mini log. You finally got to try it out. What is your first impression, man? It's lovely. I want to stroke it. I want to rearrange its knobs. I want to touch its wood. <laughs> I'm basically very happy with it, man. It does make an amazing sound, doesn't it? It does. Let's do the envelope thing, man. That's what we're here for. We'd have to switch to the SH101, wouldn't we? Well, we can do this now. I can show you the SH101 later. Okay, yeah, alright. Alright, let's stick it in mono mode. Because mm -hmm. otherwise, you get in poly mode, if you hit different keys, you get the voice rotation and you miss the whole uh, the point of it. So, in mono mode. Slow attack and release. You hear, if I leave that going, that will release nicely. Yeah. If I play a note, it kills it. And that is not how an analog synth works. You yeah. hear nothing. And you hear that little click as well? Yeah, from silent. It's just not. The click is how the thing that's been annoying me the be. very most. The clicks, they're in a lot of. Yeah, well, I mean. A lot of patches. It will even be relevant to polyphonic patches because even though the envelope, mm -hmm. you know, the voices are rotating, uh, you will eventually strike another envelope that's in yeah. motion. And that interruption of it will make a noise. I'm not saying it's the only reason for the mm -hmm. click, but uh, it's got to be relevant. <laughs> yeah, groovy, man. I like it. So it goes. Completely kills it dead. Yeah. From, it goes from zero. I should be able to play that, mm -hmm. and it should. Once it's got a, a note, it, sh it should stay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It seems obvious to me. You know, I don't know everything's, much. Everything's on maximum. Mm. That's just wrong. Mm -hmm. I should be able to play, right. and I can't, I right. can't play how I should be able to play. Well, we'll cut to the SH-101. Let's do it. Second. Let's do it, man. And see what that sounds like. Yeah, a real yeah. analog synth. Anyway. Right, so this is the SH-101. Yep, a real set. old analog synth. All the envelope uh, settings to the maximum. So the longest attack we've got, the longest release. Uh, don't worry about the decay and sustain for the time being. Right. So, so when I play a note, it rises up to the maximum voltage. Yep. And when I let go, it decays away. Nice, smooth, slow. If I play nice a note slow. now, before it's faded away, yeah. hear that? It just carries on. There's no silence, there's no clicks going back to zero. Isn't that nice? Do you think that's nice? I think yeah, that's yeah. so much nicer it's than mellow. if when I was playing this, somehow I went well, I couldn't even do it. I couldn't even bring myself to do it to demonstrate. It's so right. fucking revolting. And this is uh, the mini log is actually based on the SH101 in <laughs> many ways, isn't it? Uh, there's, well, there's a lot of similarities, I think. Uh, mm -hmm. It's obviously very hands-on it's got the sequencer the arpeggiator it's got a really really nice sound but the mini log's got a whole bunch of extra stuff like cross mod and sync and uh, and polyphony mm -hmm. so and a delay i mean shit.